Hey everybody, so it is Wednesday, um, May the 18th. <laughs> I had to look at the date. Um, I am at Kroger. This is the Kroger that's on my way home from work. I am not feeling good. I really just want to go home and crash. Um, got a little bit of a sore throat and some drainage going on. I don't think I'm sick. I think it's just allergy related. Um, I took some allergy medicine this morning, but it really hasn't done much yet. But uh, today's the start of a new ad cycle, and I wanted to get in and get a few things before they run out. Um, last week, I kind of waited till the end of the ad cycle to get in the store, and I wasn't able to get some of the things that I really wanted. Um, last week, they were already out. And I don't think Kroger does um, rain checks anymore. At least mine doesn't seem to, so... Uh, kind of missed out on a few things last week, but that's okay. You know, that happens. And sales, the nice thing about sales cycles is they do tend to come back around. Um, it may be a few weeks or even a couple of months, but it will it will come back around. So, um, I got a Walmart delivery order coming for the things I needed from Walmart. I'm going to go into Kroger and get the things that I wanted here. And then I'll do a little grocery video before I put everything away to show y'all what I'm stocking up on for this week. And, um, I'm not going to be buying anything at HEB this week. I've already looked at their sale and there's nothing that's a good deal for me to go buy there. Um, Brookshire's, I wanted to kind of give you a word of warning on Brookshire's. So they've got some sales this week that look really appealing. They've got lots of this buy one, get one for a penny. And they do that quite often. And what I've noticed is I'll write down the items that I want that are buy one, get one for a penny. And then I'll go price them normally at Walmart. And there are things that they're selling, buy one, get one for a penny, are marked up extremely high. And I get that so that they're still making money, but you're not getting a good deal like you think you are. Um, usually it works out to the same price or less than I could have got the two. The, I mean, I could have got the two items at Walmart for the same price or less than what they're charging for the one at Brookshire. So you're paying the same or more than you need to pay is all I'm saying. Like one of the things this week that they had on sale, buy one, get one for a penny were the uh, pre-season pork tenderloins. And we like those occasionally. So I thought, great, buy one, get one for a penny. That's a wonderful deal. But I know how they do. So I looked it up and the one was $10.99 uh, for the same size pork tenderloin at my Walmart is like $5.28. So you can see like getting the two at Walmart is going to cost me less than getting the one, buy one, get one for a penny at Brookshire's. So I've just found that Brookshire's doesn't have great deals, at least not in my area. Now it depends on your prices and where you're at, whether it's a good deal for you or not. So, you know, check it out, but just buyer beware on that one. Um, their prices aren't that great. And I've compared my prices at Kroger to what I would pay at Walmart uh, as well as what, when I'm going to pick up items at HEB. So, um, just be cautious. I mean, you've got the internet, you've got it. If you're watching YouTube, you've got internet somewhere, right? So you can pull up the prices online. You can check and see if you're getting a good deal. That's all I'm saying. I just recommend be smart with your money, especially right now with all the inflation that's going on in the grocery store, be smart with your money. So I'm going to go in and get the few things that I need at Kroger. I'm going to go home and record the grocery haul for you because I've got my Walmart order coming pretty close to the time I walk in the door at home. That way I can get this all recorded and put away and then I think mommy might have a nap this afternoon. And that is a very rare occurrence for me, but I'm just right here is where I'm feeling it and then I'm feeling it in my throat and I'm just ready to crash already. So I will see you at the house and I'll show you what we're getting. See you then. Bye. All right, so I'm home from Kroger and I thought I would just go over the items that I got that I'm not gonna take in the house. These are things that will stay in the garage or go in the garage fridge. Uh, there's no point in me carting everything into the house just to cart it right back out here when my car's like right there. So um, I did pick up three of the Ozarka waters at Kroger. They are on sale three for 11 this week. And I also picked up two of the yellow Gatorades and two of the red Gatorades. They are $5.99 a piece as long as you buy two. So you might be thinking, I only see one yellow and one red. You are correct. Um, but I've already loaded up the chiller door in the fridge with those to start getting cold. Um, it is sports season. It is band season for summer camps. It's all sorts of stuff going on, plus lawn work. It's just good to have those. Uh, picked up one thing of sour cream. 
I got these two pizzas for tonight for dinner. Um, these were marked down at Kroger half price, so they were only $3 a piece. So I grabbed one ultimate meat and one cheese pizza. Eggs, you're probably thinking, my goodness, how many eggs do you need? Um, these were free. I had a coupon for a free dozen eggs. And then these, I don't know if you bought eggs recently, but here they're about $3.29 to $4 a dozen for eggs. And this was a 30 count that they had on sale for $4 at Kroger. So that was a good deal. And that'll give me plenty of eggs uh, for the next week or so. All right, so that's what's out here in the garage. That's my 7-Up machine. Well, it's not mine. I bought it for my husband. Um, it's got a lot of work that he used to do to it, but it's his project that I bought him. I'm sure he loves when I buy him projects. Um, I'm gonna close the garage door here as we go in. And then we'll, I'll turn you around. I'll show you the rest of the stuff that I got at Kroger. And then I will show you the stuff I got at Walmart. So I haven't even set everything out yet. I just walked in, but I just didn't want to take that stuff all the way through the house and then all the way back out of the house. So I'll be right back with the rest of the Kroger haul. Okay, so this is almost everything that I got from Kroger. I just have one other thing that I'll show you. Um, everything is not here. There were some out of stock items um, and some issues with some items and that's okay. It is, you know, I'm in, I'm in supply chain as well. So I understand I me. Mean, I'm, I'm more on the oil and gas side of things, but I understand supply chain issues. I understand the headaches of getting things. Plus the higher gas prices mean, you know, less trucks on the road. It's just, it's going to be a nightmare I'm sure for a little while. And so, um, it's okay if we don't get everything. Usually I'm just stocking up on sales. So I'm not going to have a heart attack if I don't get something. Um, I did this Olive Garden Italian dressing because I wanted to try the Olive Garden Italian chicken pasta at home. That uh, was on the five for five. I got two bags of the Gardettos for my husband. Those were on the five for five. What else did I get that was on five for five? There's something else. I have to think on that because I thought there was something else because they shorted me one item that was on the five for five, which was the Snickers ice cream bars. And so that meant I didn't get my $5 off of everything. So I'll have to think on that. I don't know what's missing here. I'll have to check and see. Um, these cake mixes and brownie mixes were on sale again this week for 87 cents. So I just stocked up on those. I got two yellow uh, one milk chocolate brownie, one devil's food cake, and one chocolate fudge. So these cake mixes I use to make cookie bars. And of course my family will always eat a brownie, especially if they're hot and you put ice cream on top of them. They love that. This was a, uh, in the store, just like walking around and decided to get this. My mom used to make salmon patties, salmon patties, salmon patties. And um, I've never been able to say it right. And I recently saw the recipe on Facebook, like how to make them like she does. And so I know my family probably won't eat these, but since I'm trying to get as much protein as possible, I thought those could be a good option for me to like make ahead sometime. Uh, this was another splurge purchase in the store. This magic shell was on sale two for four. And my husband likes that on his ice cream sometimes. So I just thought I would sneak that in and that can be a surprise for him sometime. And then I got this pop secret popcorn. We do movie nights on Saturday nights at home. We don't go to the theater anymore. And uh, so we are almost out of popcorn. I think I looked yesterday and we only had like two left. So that will get us through for movie nights. Then over here, I have more chicken broth. <laughs> so this is still on sale at my Kroger on manager special four for a dollar until they take it off. And I'm not kidding that I'm going to stock up on this. This may be the last set that I buy because this is the third set I bought. So all of this chicken broth was $6 and this is all name brand sponsored chicken broth. And what I did is I looked up the expiration date because these are October, 2022. And I know I won't use this many by then, but it does say online, as long as you haven't opened them, you're storing them in a cool dry spot that these will be good for a year past their expiration date, at least a year past their expiration date. So I'm not worried about the expiration date on these. They will get used uh, easily by next October. So that is all we got from Kroger. Next up will be the Walmart haul. 
Plus, I'll let you know what it is I'm missing out of the Kroger haul that I can't think of. Because I know I did enough items to do the five for five, and then it didn't end up working out. And also, these were 87 cents, but they did not ring up 87 cents. So, I'll get with Kroger about getting the money back on those. They actually rang up like $1.29 a piece. So, not the end of the world, but they will honor their price. So, I will be back with Walmart. So I forgot to add one thing. I'm going to kind of jump in the middle of this video and add in just a couple little things. One is to make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you're liking videos, leaving us some fun comments. Uh, the channel is growing and we're really, I am really excited about that. I know my son is really excited about that. Y'all haven't seen him in a lot of videos recently. Um, he's popped in here or there, but he is excited for this summer to make some videos with me to put out on YouTube. And so we're super excited to have you here and we're like this close to having a subscriber contest like seriously like six subscribers away from having a giveaway so make sure you join the page please 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 subscribe and the other thing I wanted to note is um on the eggs I was actually doing some research online like I know you can jar eggs or whatever I'm I have not got into canning anything, and honestly, I don't know about that. Um, I'm growing some plants. I wanted to try to maybe make salsa and try jarring or canning, however you want to say it, that stuff. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, and then, we're thinking about a garden for next year, but I haven't got into any of that yet. But, the eggs, um, it does say online that you can for sure use eggs three to five weeks past the expiration date that is on your eggs. So I know there's like some different tests you can do to find out if they're good or not, but it basically says in general, eggs will last a minimum of three to five weeks after the, the expiration date that's on the eggs. So like all of those eggs that I got today, their expiration date's not until the end of June. So I'm quite comfortable that I would have them used uh, within three weeks of that date anyways. So I just thought I'd throw that out there. Guys, don't be afraid of expiration dates. Like, do your research. And if you're too scared to use something past its expiration date, that's fine. I'm not knocking you for that, but I'm not scared. Like, if, if something doesn't smell right or it doesn't look right, I'm going to throw it away. Otherwise, I'm okay using it, giving it a chance. The only things that I don't like to use past an expiration date is milk. And that's because milk always smells funny to me. So, I'm not a good judge of is milk good or is milk bad. So, mm -mm. if it's past the expiration date, I'm not going to use it. And then, um, yeah, that's the only thing I can really think of that has an expiration date that I'm scared to go past that expiration date. Now, you can ask my mom about eggs because I had surgery once and she came over here and babysit my son and there's no telling how long those eggs have been in the fridge i guarantee you it was longer than three to five weeks after the expiration date so we have been bad about that in the past and she fed them to my son and he got really sick so if they smell funny throw them away <laughs> don't use them um but do try to use them with i would say within the three weeks past the expiration date i would make sure that they're gone oh i know another thing i'm not a big fan of bread past its expiration date now, if it's close to its expiration date, like a day or two, whatever, I'll throw it in the freezer and then I'll pull it out and use it later. But um, I don't really just like it sitting out on the counter for who knows how long and then trying to use it. So I guess, you know, again, you could make breadcrumbs, you could make croutons. I just haven't got into all, all of that stuff. Like maybe I'll have time one day once I'm out of school and stuff to experiment with some of that. But that's it guys so here's the rest of the grocery haul have fun this is it this is my walmart order in its entirety and this was enough to put me over the limit to have delivered that makes me sad because there is not much here but it's okay um this is chicken strips these were a request from axton he wants me to do chicken and waffles at home sometime and this says it's a one pound bag there's not very much in there but it'll be enough for a meal of chicken and waffles for him to try i don't know why he wants chicken and waffles but he does we've never had that so um i did get a bag of these checkers or rallies famous season fries these are excellent fries uh if you've never had them they are worth getting um we also like the crispy like crinkles that are seasoned from the walmart brand the great value brand but this time i got these fries 
uh, got a new thing of Parmesan. This, this is the one I prefer for when I'm cooking pasta and stuff over like the craft. So I got that. I got three packages of this pre-cut sausage. And I know it's cheaper to buy a roll and cut it myself and you'll have more and all that. But I'll show you what my plan is for that here in a minute. I got some thin sliced chicken breasts. I'm going to split these up and probably cook like two a week to go on wraps at work for my lunches. So I'll either do like lemon pepper or barbecue, just whatever flavor I want. Because I got those carb balanced tortillas and this is this will be good to do wraps with. Okay, I got three cans of the pizza crust. We like just this great value pizza crust uh, that I will put in a pan and put all the pizza toppings on and it kind of makes a deep dish pizza. So they, they enjoy that, so that's fine. We will stick with that. And then I got three cans of these jumbo biscuits. Now this is where the sausage comes in. I'm thinking about making my own kind of breakfast biscuits on the weekend sometime with eggs, sausage, and cheese on these jumbo biscuits. So there's eight biscuits. There's eight sausage patties. We're even, we're good to go. I can just, when, when I wanna make them, I can pull out one of these and thaw it out, pull out one of these and I'm good to go. And as you can see, I've got plenty of eggs. So uh, that was the thought behind that. Now, if it's something that I was gonna do like daily, then yeah, I would probably just get rolled sausage, but I'm just thinking about doing these on the weekends. So this'll be enough to get me through at least three weeks. And to be honest, I probably won't even do them every weekend. It'll probably be more like an every other weekend thing. So that is it. That is all I got from Walmart this week. Um, not a whole lot and that is okay. So I will be back with my totals on both orders and I'll let you know kind of what my plan is for the next couple of days if you'll see any more grocery hauls or not. All right, y'all. So I have my computer out with the prices that I paid for everything today. Um, so at Kroger, I do have two purchases because part of it was um, a cart that I had built for their pickup delivery service. And then the rest was um, an in-store pickup. So uh, I do often go in-store just to do a quick sweep around the store and see if you can find any of those clearance stickers. Sorry, the light's kind of terrible over here. Um, we're just going to make do and get this done. So uh, let's see if I can. Maybe I'm turning. Maybe I'm turning you this way. <laughs> It'll be better. Sorry, guys. Um, so I did have two purchases. The purchase that I did through the uh, pickup lane was fifty-one dollars and seventy cents, and I'm kind of confused um, with parts of that order. Like I had said, the the cakes didn't ring up with the coupon, which was fine. Um, there also, according to my receipt took off the pickup charge twice. So I'm not sure what's going on there. And then um, I had done the five items to get $5 off, which normally if they're out of something, they'll give you an option to sub it or they'll just go ahead and take the $4 off. And this time they didn't do any of the above. So anyways, I did report the issues to Kroger um, just as far as like them not taking off the coupons and stuff. Um, because I don't know what's going on there and that may be a broader issue that's happening to a lot of people. So I just wanted to get that out there to them. And so they did apply a $15 credit to my account for my next grocery pickup, which is fine. It seems like I'm getting a lot of credits from Kroger that way. It's just because they don't want to refund anything back to your card. I'm not sure what's going on there either, but um, the credit works. That can go on my next grocery order, not a problem. Um, as far as the in-store portion was $33.95. And um, I was actually really excited to find those pizzas that were on clearance because I don't feel like cooking and my kids are going to be home. Sorry, I'm flipping you around one more time. My kids are going to come home and they're going to want dinner tonight. And it's kind of like kids choose dinner this week because daddy's out of town and they love pizza. So they will have no problem eating pizza uh, when they get home tonight. So again, that uh, total was $33.95. So between the two orders, looking at, let's see, $33.95 and $51.70. So that's what I spent there. And of course, I'll be getting the $15 back. Now, Walmart, um, for my order yesterday, I spent $42.28. 
And so that's where we stand with groceries as far as these two orders. Oh, and the reason I did a grocery pickup at Kroger for some of those items was they had a deal going that if you spent $50 or more on a pickup order, you got uh, 500 bonus fuel points for the month. And if y'all aren't using Kroger fuel points, uh, every 100 points gets you 10 cents off a gallon of gas. So those extra 500 points is going to save me 50 cents a gallon in gas. And you can save up to a dollar a gallon um, by using your points. And so as of today, I have 890 points for the month of May. So by the end of May, I may actually have a thousand points with those bonus points, and that'll save me a dollar per gallon on gas. And as much driving as we do back and forth to work and back and forth to kids' activities and back and forth just everywhere we go, it seems like um, a dollar off per gallon will be a good deal for us. So that is everything I've purchased. So will you see another grocery haul coming up on my channel in May? You will see grocery pickups from Kroger and that's probably it. And the reason you'll see grocery pickups from Kroger is because that's the store that seems to have the best deals week to week in their ads where I will stock up on items to get ahead. And so that's probably the only other shopping I'm going to do this month. I'm not doing another Sam's Club run this month. Um, I don't have a Costco membership currently, so I won't be doing another Costco run this month. Um, HEB, very iffy if they're going to have anything in the ads that I want to go pick up. Walmart, I probably won't be placing another order there. So for the rest of this month, you'll probably only see a couple of small stock up hauls uh, from Kroger that are just sell items and maybe some fresh fruit. We'll see. Uh, but that is it for this month. And June, just to warn you, coming up in June, uh, we will be gone for a week on a cruise in June. Our little family of four is going to go on a Caribbean cruise with Royal Caribbean. And so um, looking forward to that before fall college starts. And so, um, we're probably going to do low spend in June just because I would rather spend my money on the cruise ship than spend my money on groceries. So I'm thinking for the month of June, I'm probably going to limit myself to like $25 a week for groceries for necessities only and any stock up items. And that's going to be it. So I'm going to try to stick to like $25 a week because like I said, I'd rather spend my money like zip lining and hanging out on the beach and getting a massage and a Mai Tai and my hand and all that kind of stuff over um, stock ups at the grocery store. So anyways, that is the plan for the rest of this month and kind of the plan for next month. We'll see how that goes. But that is all you guys. So stick around. Um, we're going to have what's for dinner videos. So we're filming one this week. Uh, we kind of got off of doing the what's for dinner videos just because school was getting so crazy. It's not only the kids end of school, but it was my end of my semester. I just graduated uh, with my third associate's degree, which everyone jokes should be like a doctor's degree at this point, right? Like I should have a doctorate in something. So um, I have an associate in arts, an associate in visual arts, and now an associate in business. So I start school in August for my bachelor's degree in business. And then, um, then I've got to decide which master's program I'm going to go into. So that's where we stand with school right now. It's so crazy. So we got off of what's for dinners, but we will have some what's for dinner videos coming up. I'm filming one this week with the kids. Uh, since my husband is out of town, we're doing all kid friendly meals, all of their special requests, things that they like to do when daddy's out of town that aren't necessarily like mommy and daddy favorites. So that is it for grocery hauls. Uh, for this week anyways. And so we'll see you in the next one. Bye.